Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today, we're doing some hog maws and chitlins. We're putting them together. It's gonna be a super quick, super easy video. Just a few steps. Stick around. As you already know, I like cutting my hog maws up into small, bite-sized pieces. You know, manageable. Help it easier to chew up. So, for those who've been rocking with me for a while, you know the story. For those who are new to the channel, it's about like how I like to do them. About like that. So, I'm going to finish this up, get these washed, and I'll bring you back. All right. I got everything washed up. And this is how I'm going to run this. I think... I've never tried it before. We're gonna do this in the pressure cooker. So, first of all, let's see if this is gonna fit in my in my pot. It's definitely gonna be tight. I got plenty more. Don't don't trip. I'm just gonna put some of my seasoning in between. Now I'm using my chops of my celery and I'm I'm putting in big pieces because it's not for me to eat. It's uh it's just for seasoning. Be something that I'll pull out in the end. And we're also going with piece of onion peel and all like I said everything's coming back out when it's all said and done we'll pick around it whatever it takes to get the job done that's what we're gonna do and one potato it's an old wise tail but I'm I'm one for old wise tails because I'm an old wise man all right we're not gonna add any liquid to that because chitlins kind of reserve water back so once it starts cooking I can guarantee you this pot will be full of water for my seasoning I'm gonna do some oxtail seasoning I like it because it's got a little spice to it and I want this to have a little kick a little Jamaican flavor to my my chitlins we're going to add a little bit more of a green layer of garlic. And just a wee bit of salt because there's not very much salt in that. Just a little bit. And of course, we've got to put our, our accent in. Don't judge. It's me doing my thing. The cranks of some cracked black. Looks good. Put the lid on. Lock it down. Gonna set it for pressure cook. We're setting this for two hours and we'll check on it first time I'm using my pressure cooker to to do something like this All right, keep going. Going. pressure cook high warm and keep it on Play start. Continue and we start the process. 
I'll bring you back in two hours when we get this. Well, when we check in on it. Stick around. Pressure is being released. Two hours have passed. Get all this pressure off. We'll check out and see how tender they are. All right. I'm going to pull some of the vegetation out of there. It's going to give up all this going to give. Looks good. Let's see how tender it is. Okay. They're not quite tender yet. So we're going to run another hour. We got it set. We'll see you back here in an hour. These are absolutely delicious. And hey, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends about me. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hmm.